Hello friends, welcome back to All About Structural Analysis and Design. Today in this video, we will uh, learn how to analyze a continuous beam by moment distribution method. So already I have uploaded two videos on moment distribution method. So you can go through those two videos to have a link between those two videos and this video. This video is little bit unique because this uh, is having a overhang span okay so last two previous videos uh, it was different case it was not overhang so that's why i took up this video to make you understand how to solve a continuous beam when it is a overhang by moment distribution method the steps remain same the first step will be to find out fixed end moments with respect to the loading condition then you have to find out distribution factors then moment distribution table so these three steps remains same so just it will be having a small uh, correction for this overhang in the distribution table itself okay so let's begin with today's video so first we have to find out fixed end moments so first will be mf ab so for span ab uh, the first fixed end moment is mf ab and it is a anti clockwise so minus so m f ab is equals to minus so it is a udl case so it is wl square by 12 so w in this case is 20 L is 6 meters, so this comes out to be minus 60 kilonewton meter. Okay, so we have solved many problems on uh, slope deflection or method also. So there we have discussed the fixed end moments of different loading cases. So for UDL it is WL square by 12. So next MF BA. So for each span there will be two fixed end moments. AB is anti-clockwise direction, so negative. BA will be clockwise direction, so positive. So positive WL square by 12. So again same you have to substitute 20 into 6 square divided by 12. So again positive 60 will be your fixed end moments for BA. Next is your point load at the center. So for that MEF BC. So again it will be anti-clockwise, so minus. So minus, so for a point load at the center, the fixed end moment is WL by 8. So W is 80 kilonewton into L is 2 plus 2, 4 divided by 8. So it comes out to be minus 40 kilonewton meter. And MF CB, it will be clockwise direction, so positive. So MF CB WL by 8. So 80 into 4 divided by 8. So it will be plus 40 kilonewton meter. Now what happens, the speciality of overhang beam is it will give you direct moment. So this 40 kilonewton will rotate clockwise in the direction, uh, clockwise direction at a span of 2 meters. So 40 into 2, that will be 80 kilonewton meter will be the moment generated by the span CD. So to counteract this, clockwise moment of 80 kilo newton meter so there will be a anti-clockwise moment to counteract this positive 80 so anti-clockwise is minus 80 so m c d so you can write it as fixed end moments or direct moment okay so in this case we will write down m f c d so to counteract this 40 into 2 positive clockwise moment there will be a anti-clockwise moment of 80 kilo newton meter at c d so m f c d is minus 80 kilo newton meter this you can write down to balance 80 kilo newton meter overhang moment Okay, no need to write down when you are solving this problem. This is just to make you understand this is a counteracting minus 80 kilo newton meter for this positive or clockwise 80 kilo newton meter moment. So this is the only change you can find out here uh, while um, calculating the fixed end moments. The next will be changes in the moment distribution table. Now once you find out fixed end moments, the next step will be to calculate distribution factors for joints. So therefore it is known as distribution factor table. So this will be your distribution factor table. So this will be a common table for all the types of problems of moment distribution method. So now there are basically two joints, correct? So now at A we cannot uh, consider it as joint because it is a fixed end moment. So no uh, 
distribution factor for joint A. So then remaining joints will be B and C. D we are not considering because it is a overhang. So there will be two joints here. So B and C. So that's why in distribution factor you can write down the joints B and C. So from joint B there will be two members. First is B A. Next is B C. Uh, through joint C there will be again two members. First is C B and next is C D. Okay. So now the next step will be to find out uh, the stiffness. K. So again, if you go back to my previous videos, I have told you when to take 4 EI by L and when to take 3 EI by L stiffness. Okay. So now for uh, span BA or member BA, the, the end is fixed. So the stiffness will be 4 EI by L. So you can write down here 4 EI by L for BA member. Next BC. B C. So after C there is a overhang. Okay. So overhang we are not considering. So it means the last span is B C. So after that span is not there. Okay. Overhang we are not considering. So the stiffness will be 3 E I by L. Okay. So next for joint C the member C B. C B. So after C B there is a span. So the stiffness is 4 E I by L. And for CD span, there will not be any stiffness because we are not considering it a overhang for solving distribution factor. So CD will be zero. So I hope you have understood. So this was the next change what we are doing. So many students get confused and they take directly 4 EI by L for BC span because they consider this CD as a span. But for overhang, we are not considering it as a span. So BC will be your last span. So after C, there will not be any span. So the stiffness will be 3 EI by L. For BA, 4 EI by L because it is fixed end. We have seen many problems on this one. BC, it is 3 EI by L. For CB, it is 4 EI by L because there is a span after B. So I hope you have understood. So now you have to be careful. So uh, I value is changing for AB. It was 2. So 4E 2I divided by the span was 6. So it comes out to be 1.33 EI. Okay. Next 3. Uh, uh, next BC span I is 1. So 3 EI by 4. This will be 0 0.75 EI. So here CB again, uh, the I value is 1. So 4 EI by 4. So it is EI. So this is 0. So now Sigma K. So you have to add for this two members on the joint B. Okay. The summation of stiffness. So it comes out to be 2.08 EI and this will be 1 EI. Okay. So it is a summation. So now the distribution factor you have to find out. So now distribution factor the formula is K by Sigma K. So DF is equals to K by Sigma K. So now K is here 1.33 EI divided by 2.08 EI. So this comes out to be 0 0.64 and this is 0 0.75 EI divided by 2.08 EI. So this comes out to be 0 0.36. So this is 1 divided by 1. So the distribution factor will be 1 and this will be 0. So this is how you have to calculate distribution factors for different members. So this is your moment distribution table. So first row will be joint A, B, C, D. Next will be distribution factors which we just calculated. And uh, for B, A it was 0 0.64. So you can write down in this box. For BC it is 0 0.36 and for CB it is 1 okay and CD it was 0 so we will write down here 0. So this will be your th second row. Now next you have to write down fixed end moments. MF AB was minus 60 then MF BA positive 60 MF BC minus 40 MF CB plus 40 and EMF CD minus 80. Okay. So these were our fixed end moments and that was DC was uh, positive 80. Okay. So now after finding out fixed end moments, after write down uh, 
after writing down fixed end moments now what we have to do is c is hinge joint and we already know it the moments will be zero so now to make that zero we have to add 40 here so 40 plus 40 80 so 80 minus 80 it will be zero so to make this zero we will add it here 40 okay and then we will transfer half to this pen so it will be positive 20 half so this is our modification in the moment distribution table so this we have followed when the last joint was hinge or roller in my previous problem so both the links i will give in the description box so here once again i'll repeat to make this c as zero because we already know it is hinged so the moment will be zero so 40 minus 80 is not zero so we have to make it zero so to make it zero add 40 here so 40 plus 40 80 and minus 80 it becomes automatically zero so this half of 40 you have to send this side and it will become 20 so after this you have to write down here new values okay new values to consider so here there is nothing so minus 60 again it will come so it is plus 60 so 40 minus 20 is minus 20 this is 80 and this is minus 80 so like this way you have to do the modification so after this the balancing row will come okay so now you have to balance this joint so 40 minus 20 is plus 40 so plus 40 we are going to do it minus 40 okay so this again we have detailed in our previous two videos okay so we are going to change the sign after balancing so 60 minus 20 is 40 so minus 40 into distribution factor of 0 0.64 will give you minus 25.6 so minus 40 into 0 0.36 will give you minus 14.44 so now next row will be carry over moment so here we should not carry over because once again i'll repeat already the c is made zero so again don't go to carry over this side so if you carry over this side then again the values will change and you will not get the correct answer the problem for this c joint is finished here itself so only thing we can carry over from this side to this side because the a joint was fixed so carry over can go here so minus 25.6 divided by 2 will get minus 12.8 okay so now the next step is not coming because balancing nothing is there to balance at b joint and c joint so the problem ends here itself so in my previous videos again i had uh, told you we will see the uh, problem where in the step carry or moment is the last step okay usually we stop the problem of moment distribution method at balancing point but here there is nothing to balance at b and c so therefore the problem will be stopped at the carry over moment step so after this the final moments you can write down so final moments is nothing in uh, you have to go on summating from this new value so, so minus 60 minus 12.8 so minus 72.8 will be the final moment value for joint a then next 60 minus 25.6 34.4 this is to minus 20 minus 14.44 minus 34.4 and this already it is 80 and minus 80 so these are your final moments so one by one if you want you can write down again this mab is equals to minus 72.8 kilo newton meter then mba is 34.4 kilo newton meter mbc is equals to minus 34.4 kilo newton meter then mcb is equals to 80 kilo newton meter and mcd is equals to minus 80 kilo newton meter so these are your final moments okay so like this way you have to find out final moments so after this you have to draw bending moment diagram and also i will show you how to draw elastic curve so in most of the examinations the elastic curve is also asked so we will discuss first elastic curve so this will be your elastic curve first you have to draw the beam okay so there was fixed end two hinge and then overhang so it is nothing but the almost the deflected shape of the beam so there is no deflection here because it was fixed end then the dotted line you can show and it goes like this top of the hinge and then again to, goes top of the hinge and again it will be uh, the deflected here okay because there was a point load acting at the end so this is how you have to draw the elastic curve 
and to draw the bending moment diagram first you can draw with respect to the loadings so first uh, it was udl so wl square by 8 you will get 90 kilo newton meter this top one then it was point load at the center so 80 kilo newton meter and this overhang also will create a 80 kilo newton meter so i have marked one point here so now our first moment was minus 72.8 so we are overlapping this one so it will come top of this reference line so we can mark the point first and then draw here then it was uh, 34.4 so i have marked here so 34.4 you can draw like this next that 80 minus 80 it was there and also 14 to 2 80 kilo newton meter so all are going and coinciding at this particular point so you can write down here 80 and then draw the line and then it come back to zero so 80 kilo newton meter so this is how you have to do it so you can write down here 72.8 kilo newton meter 34.4 kilo newton meter so this is how you have to draw the bending moment diagram so i hope this overhang problem of analysis is uh, understood by all of you and if you have understood please like it share it and don't forget to subscribe all about structural analysis and design and also press the bell icon for the latest notifications of my videos in civil and structural engineering thank you friends